The root of the tree that produces this poisonous fruit, all we got to do, everybody's got to look in the mirror, because most people don't, still don't know that the Federal Reserve has got nothing to do with our government. Well, guess what? A citizen of the United States has nothing to do with our government e either. That was created in 1866. It was memorialized in the 14th Amendment in 1868. And then in 1870, they quietly made it so that the uh, blacks were ex exactly equal to the whites. Of course, we are, everybody thinks they're a citizen of the United States. Well, what they said. Blacks were not raised up. Uh, everyone was brought down. Well, we work, it's a fiction in law. If they said everybody's going to be Santa Claus and we're going to have Rudolph in every garage, we'd say, no, 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 that's not so. But everybody thinks they're a citizen of the United States. And what it's, ta it's found today in Title 42, 1981, 82, and 88. And here's what it says. This is astounding. Congress is going to grant you the benefit of to sue and be sued on personal or private and personal property, the right to contract, and to have the same rights as enjoyed by white citizens. Does that sound just a little racist? And that is what a citizen of the United States is. It's still there today in the code. Unbelievable, isn't it? And the Supreme Court said, if you take this status, this benefit, you then have no right to any court of law and you have no right to a remedy. That's Babcock. That's right. It makes you a ward of the state or chattel. Well, it's like you have a child. You have a child at home, you say, okay, I'm going to get around and uh, give you a dollar, do the dishes. No, not you piss me off. I'm not going to give you any money at all. There's no remedy for the child. And that's what we've done. We have surrendered. We have sold our birthright for a bowl of porridge. We've been hoodwinked. And that's our problem today. That's and the, the foolish cops and workers that carry all this out are, are having their water and food and everything poisoned publicly. And they, it's just, they love dying of cancer. They love being slaves. Uh, but, you know, the average cop is just completely ignorant. They, they just have no idea what they're part of. Now, the uh, and, well, not, and, and not even all social workers, you know, are in the are in the wicked guild. But now they're snatching old people and taking their money. I mean, now it's just my God, we're in hell. Well, we the thing hell. is, you give these you give people with no accountability to uh, what they perceive as power, and we got Hitlers like Hitler never had Hitlers in Germany. God, there was only one of that sucker in Germany. We got them all over out here because these people, there's no accountability. They just do whatever they want. And they're called agents, and that's why that, that movie Matrix, because they can just appear anywhere. And, and when I finally figured this out, we have no government. It's gone, folks. It's because everybody uses the word agency. Well, I got, all for all the, I got news for all the crooks and agencies in uniform who think it's all funny. Your masters are going to hurt you bad. You think you're part of the system, you're going to find out. Keep laughing. Keep laughing. I mean, well, you know, I mean, Ralph, here's the problem. At the top of the pyramid, I'm sure you know about all the thousands of admitted chemical, biological, radiological tests on the troops and police and others. They they kill our troops all the time for 60 years in test to create other cadres of military that will do the killing just as a test. And it's an admitted declassified fact, and the public can't figure out that, of course, they carried out 9-11. I mean, if our government would irradiate 4,500 children... U.S. children frying them to death just to test radiation systems. Uh, oh, but they wouldn't kill you on 9/11. I mean, I, I just—it's a wonderland for psychos, isn't it? Well, it is, and you know, it's just like I—I—I uh, I, 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 I look for black and white issues. What I call a bright line. Oklahoma City—they had all kinds of video cameras. You know what's missing in Oklahoma City? There's no hole in the ground out in front, so therefore there was no fertilizer bomb. It's all. Why? And they won't release the videos, and the FBI that's seen it say that. So, uh, no, no, but no, no, these are the TV camera videos of all the different, out of the helicopters. They were flying around no, no, and no, where I, the holes. I know those. I agree there's no hole. I, I agree. I'm saying, but in the close up videos, they seized. Yeah. Yeah, you go to 9 11, the Pentagon. There's no plane, there's no motors, and there's no people. And the towers, there's never been a steel building come down yet, and two of them came down uh, in the same day within hours, and then the other building seven, you can see it go down, and 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 we listened to Dan Rather or, Here's or an example. another idiot. The Gardasil vaccine admittedly kills people. They admit it in their own in, in insert. It says this gives you cancer, this kills you, and they run out and inject themselves. Have you heard the latest? They're going to put three- to eight-year-olds on statin uh, cholesterol drugs? Oh, God. I mean, it's just, it's hell force, ladies and gentlemen. You understand? Well, there's, 
there's an in, two interesting things that I was watching. Uh, one is I watched what happened in Texas when they uh, kidnapped, and that's what they're doing. They're kidnapping children for money, for slavery. They, they kidnap them, hold them for ransom, and they sell them off. The interesting part is what happened in Texas when they took all those children. They filed a mandamus, and a mandamus is to obey your rules and regulations. Now, this is what I've come up with, and this week we are finally attacking the IRS uh, because they must follow their rules and regulations. That's the only thing that holds them accountable. The code laws is a waste of time. That's just the marching orders. The statutes, or the, they call them statutes, or the state, it's all baloney. They are not bound by it. The only thing the courts are bound by, the only thing the agencies are bound by, the only thing that the agents are bound by is what's published in the Federal Register. And I know there is some success with that. The problem is that they will only accept that from higher directives of someone higher up the totem pole, and these Mormons had a, t a boatload of money, and the government so hated now, it was a PR it backfire. Uh, my whole issue is is that they selectively enforce even their own codes and regulations, as you know. Well, they do, but uh, I've been jerking the judge around here. I provide research to material that uh, want to fight this, and we've been starting now to jerk these judges around. Uh, I've got two summary judgments and the kill of commercial stuff here in the last three weeks. But uh, uh, we're going to see how this plays out because uh, this is this is the only thing that binds these people because they don't work for us. Now, getting back, getting back to the hell force, let's just go over the makeup of the family destruction services their own books they take in college say the family's a disease to be eradicated we provided all those to you so their job eradicate the family break down homeschoolers uh... they viciously hate christians uh... let's go over that how that particular mercenary force uh... operates and uh, how illegitimate they are well like i say it is uh... because they uh, congress has set this up and, and they can target any group that they want to tear apart. Number one, they must tear apart the families. So they have set up the adoption part that we have. Uh, they're gonna, it's, it's nothing short of bounty hunting. They offer money for every child. If you get over this amount, you start making money. And that means that these, uh, child custody folks then, they can hire more of them. That means your job is secure. So, I mean, these, these people are, they're gonna do it. And, and, and that's, and what that's they right. Do. It's growing like a flesh-eating bacteria infection. It's exponentially growing. It's like mold eating a whole loaf of bread. It's like cancer. They're just going wild in our blood. Well, it's like uh, okay. Uh, the, the Act of Congress says we take the average of a three-year, the last three years baseline. Now we take the next three years. Well, the next year is higher, so that means we have to kill. We have to kidnap more kids to keep our jobs, and so then we do that. So we, we uh, every year it's, it's an automatic in, uh, setup means that we are going to destroy the family. That's right. Clinton accelerated that, what, in 97. Explain that. They have to up the bounty just to get the original money. Well, right, they, but they, uh, they and, and every year the numbers keep going up, the number of children in the system. Well, of course, if your job depends on kidnapping a child, what are you going to do? You're going to go kidnap them, and where do they find them? They have the schools and they have the hospitals where they send them the information of any child that has a bruise or or anything. It's worse than that. So Let me give you an example. Let me give an example. You're at the hospital having a baby. This just happened to me, and I go there because I know the doctor. She's a fan. She's not bad, but the system is. And I've already had three children, so I know how it is, and I'm in there. And she says, oh, hon, will you run this down, the, the, you know, the master nurse, get my wife ready to go in. Will you run this file down to the floor next to me? Thank you. And then I leave. I wink at my wife. And the lady says, how is your home? i uh, got plenty of money, plenty of food. Uh, that's enough to take care of right there. Uh, is your husband nice to you? Got a good relationship? You can tell me, honey. And she's right there at a computer hooked into the police. Not yep. telling you, not reading your rights, nothing. My wife says, no, we're fine. We're We're great. We're doing good. And then I come back, and the woman slyly on her power trip, thank you for doing that. She's a bucket of pus because she has to do this for a job. She she does it to love it. She's on her own power trip, but something's happening. Now they're going to grab her grandchildren's kids. Now they're not wanting to do it. I talked to other nurses about how horrible it is. They all know what's going on. Some of them are fans. But the point is, is this is it. This is, this. Is, you are being reported on everywhere. Go ahead, Ralph. Well, like a, a lady that uh, I've been helping here, uh, 
she was in there, and uh, they took.